Sidekids, we're so glad you're joining us. I can't believe it's already our last week in our unusual series. Yeah, I feel like summertime is going by super fast. It feels like summer break just started, but now it's already the end of July and then it's gonna be August. I know, I feel like the season is changing way too fast. Like it was June yesterday, now it's July, and then it's, it'll be October, oh no shoot, August in a blink of an eye. Yeah, but that's okay, teacher Trisha. You know, change can be sometimes a little bit scary, but you know what's one thing that never changes? Yeah, I know, it's God's love is unchangeable. Actually, that's even our big idea for this week. Well, you're not wrong, but that's not what I was thinking. I was gonna say that our big rule never changes. Our big rule is to be kind. You're right. Our big rule every single day, 365 days a year is to be kind. All right, now I'm sure we all know what time it is. It's time for our challenge. All right, so do you wanna guess first or? Sure, I can guess first. Okay, okay, just, you just put that on your head. Um, okay, okay, I think, that, yeah, that's, that's a good word, that's a good word. Is it a food? I don't, I don't think you can eat it, no, no. Is it an animal? No, no. Hmm. Is it a person? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> you find this thing at school? Mm -hmm. You can find it at school. You can find it at school. Would I use this thing at school? <laughs> yes, you would use that thing at school. Okay, so it's something that you use. Um, is it a pencil? No, but you're getting close. You're getting... Hmm. Something that you use at school. Maybe a pair of scissors? Yeah, it's a pair of scissors. Wow. Yeah. And here, let's see. Okay. All right. Okay, am I alive? No. Am I a food? Definitely not. <laughs> um, am I like a noun? Mm. You could be. Um, is it something I would do? Yes. Okay, then face? Yes. Face, okay, okay, what do I, blank? No. No blank. Eating food? No. No? Like brushing my hair? No. Like cleaning my ears with Q-tips? No, no. Okay, uh, how about, what else do we have? Ears, eyes, no, oh no, sneezing. Yes, <laughs> sneezing, oh, okay. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> okay. Um, is this a thing? Yeah, it, yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. Okay, you're a little hesitant, so I'm gonna ask, is it a food? Yeah, it's a food. It's a food. Okay, food. Mm, is it bitter? I don't, I don't really know. I haven't had oh. that food really, so. Hmm, it must Sorry. be something <laughs> super obscure then. Mmm, is it salty? No, no, no. Is it sweet? Yeah, I, I think so. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Um, is it colorful? Not really. Not really. No. Okay, something sweet. Is it a fruit? Yeah, it's a fruit. It's fruit. Okay. Never had it before, so it's probably something kind of weird. Um, is it a dragon fruit? No. Yo, that sounds interesting, but no. Maybe a mango? No, I eat mangoes all the time. Oh, okay. No, it's not not too. <laughs> um, hmm. What's a weird fruit? Is it a coconut? How about a kiwi? Yeah, it's a kiwi. I'll go next. Okay. Okay. Am I alive? Yes. I'm alive, okay. <laughs> okay, um, am I like a person? Hello. No, not a person, okay, so I'm alive, but I'm not a person. 
So I'm an animal. Yes. Okay, animal. Do I how do I have four legs like a dog? No. No. Okay. Don't. Ha what about two legs? Nope. Eight legs? Nope. It's better, no. No. Definitely. What about twelve legs? No. No. Okay. Um. What about no legs? Mm -hmm. No legs. Okay. Okay. Am I a worm? No. No. Okay. Am I? Am I small like a worm? No. No. Okay. Um. I don't have legs. Am I big? You could be. I could be. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't have legs. Do I live in the ocean? No. No. Okay then. Okay, no legs, don't live in the ocean, so... Am I a snake? Yep! Yeah. Snake! Oh, awesome! Okay. Um... Is this a place? Nope. No. Is it a person? Uh, maybe in like a movie, you know? Hmm. Like, maybe, but not really. No. Oh. Okay, um, is it a thing then? Yep, it's a thing. Yep. Okay. Mm, is it a big thing? Usually. 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 Okay, is this like an everyday thing? No. No, 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 no. no? so only during certain times then? Yeah. Um, is it something that you find during certain season? Yep. Yep. Mm, spring? No, not spring. Not summer. summer. No, not summer. No, not summer. No. Fall? No. Okay, then winter. Yeah, it's winter. It's a winter thing. Um, okay, winter thing. Is it something that you wear? No, no. No? Okay. Is it something that you use? No, no. Hmm. Something in the winter that you can't wear and you can't use. Is it something that you make? Yeah, something that you make. Something that you make in the winter. Snow angels? They're close, but no. Snowman. Yeah, snowman. All right, I think we have one more. One more word to guess here, a phrase. Um, I don't know, it's, I think it's kinda kind of weird. Do you wanna, do you mm, wanna? Let me see. Oh, oh yeah, I this would have never guessed that. Really, really hard to guess, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's gonna be way too hard. Maybe we can just show the kids in our Bible story. That sounds like a good idea. A long time ago, there was a king named David. It was spring, which is the time that the kings go off to war. Surprisingly, David sent Joab out with the king's men and the whole Israelite army. David just ended up staying home. One day, he noticed a woman named Bathsheba who he thought was very beautiful. David decided he was in love with Bathsheba. But there was a problem. Bathsheba wasn't available. She was already married to a man named Uriah. He tried a bunch of different things to make Uriah go away, but nothing seemed to work. One bad decision kept leading to another until David made the worst decision of all. He sent Uriah into battle knowing that he'd be killed. But David cared more about his own feelings than about whether Uriah might be hurt. Even though David made the wrong decision by not going to battle and trying to make Uriah go away, God doesn't abandon him. Of course, 
David would have to face the consequences of his poor choices, but God still loved him and did not take away his promises. God's love for David stayed the same. Well, you know, that Bible story explained what it means when we say that God's love is unchangeable so much better than what I would have guessed in our game today. I know, it was a little bit hard to guess. It was just awesome how God forgives us and loves us even though we make mistakes. So even when we make mistakes or find ourselves in the wrong situation, God is always there to forgive us and to love us. And that means that God's love is unchangeable no matter what. Yeah, no matter what. Well, kids, uh, that's the end of our series. So you know what that means. We have one more chance to say our memory verse. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. Isaiah 55, 8. All right, kids, that's all from us. Be sure to like and subscribe for more awesome videos and make sure to click the links below to sing and dance to some cool worship music. And we will see you guys next week for our whole new series. I wonder what it could be.